Hi everyone, Steve here. Welcome to Monday Morning Musings Low Budget Summertime version, which we'll be wrapping up here pretty soon back to some better quality stuff. Hey, we're talking about context and culture issues, and I'm going to give you a real simple example of how if we project our American and English cultural language and cultural values under the scripture, we're going to uh, get into trouble. I'm going to give you an example. If I say to you, hot dog, H-O-T-D-O-G, in our language, what do I mean? You're all educated, I assume. You've been to school, elementary school, high school, maybe Bible school, maybe college, but you consider yourself a literate person. You can't answer that question because you don't know my context. Hot dog could be my pet has a fever. It could be something that I enjoy eating. It could be someone who shows off. And it could be a state of excitement. Hot dog. J listen carefully. Just the inflection of the tone of my voice gives it different meaning. Saints, if in our world where we share a language, share a culture, share a place and time, a simple change of intonation can change the meaning of a word, how do we think we can read the scriptures as if it's a chemistry book or a formula book or cookbook? We're reading the scriptures that are 2,000 years old, written to another people in another place at another time with another set of values and presuppositions. It is going to take work to properly understand those things. There is no shortcut to good Bible study. Throw this one out to you. The most optimistic statistic that I have seen of the literacy rates in first century Roman Judea, Roman Palestine, the most optimistic is 15%. The most common literacy rate that I've seen ranges about between 3 to 5%. That means most of the population wasn't even reading. They couldn't read. They had basic reading skills to be able to like shop and to handle money. But the idea of somebody in a, a remote village in Judea sitting down and studying the scriptures simply is a myth. You would be lucky if there was one scroll for an entire village and a few upper, uh, economically upper level people who had, been, had the privilege of being educated. Why is that important? We need to understand that when we are reading the scriptures in our day and age, we need to understand that they were letters that were not only read out loud, but they were actually acted out. In my example of hot dog, you can't tell what I mean unless you were there to hear my voice inflection. It's the same thing thing when we come to the scriptures. There is a lot of work to be done and the Holy Spirit doesn't do it magically for you. The Holy Spirit will see to your conformity to the image of Jesus and his cross. The Holy Spirit will not do your Bible study for you. The Holy Spirit will illumine what you put yourself to. It's it's an incarnational proposition. It's a partnering proposition. Just like in the incarnation, there's the human and the divine. It's the same thing when we approach the scriptures. And this notion that you can just be, frankly, intellectually lazy and intellectually dishonest, and but boy, you, you got an opinion on everything from the Bible, is just unfortunate. And it causes relational problems and difficulties. We need to be slow to be boastful about what we think we know. My friends, if something as simple as a hot dog cannot be understood in our time without some additional information, how much more so when we approach the scripture? Culture and context and 
understanding some language things is critical or the church will be and is filled with rubbish and nonsense some from very well-meaning people who themselves are insecure and anti-education and from others who just are so arrogant that they don't think they need any and that the bible and the holy spirit is their private little uh, pathway to uh, uh, information it's not so let us either do our own due diligence or partner up with people who we know and trust, and that's another whole message, who can help us, prevent us from making fools of ourselves of what we think we know, or even, God forbid, interpreting and applying Scripture 180 degrees out of what it actually meant to the people who heard it at the time. Heard it. Heard it. Didn't read it. Heard it. And that's what